Welcome back. Well, with that first snow of the season already happening, it might feel like fall is over, which means those beautiful colors that have painted the Michiana skies with those great, gorgeous, gorgeous leaves are going to fade away pretty soon. Yeah, but why do the leaves change colors? Now, uh, I explained this some 36 years ago. Take a look at this very special clip from our WNDU vault. Once upon a time, in a suburb not so far away, a young boy and his wise uncle pondered the questions of the universe. Hey, Uncle Gary, why do leaves change color? Hmm, now that's an interesting question, Ryan. It has to do with the amount of green photosynthetic coloring matter called chlorophyll present in the tree leaves and the amount of sunlight the trees receive at various times of the year. You see, Ryan, as autumn approaches, the days grow shorter, the nights grow longer because of the Earth's tilted axis as it orbits the sun. The trees need sunlight to make chlorophyll. The less sunlight they get each day, the less chlorophyll they produce and the less green color they have. A chlorophyll is one of those interesting number of organic compounds. In this case, a combination of a blue-black ester and a dark green ester made up of carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, magnesium, and oxygen. The synthesis of an ester results from the reaction between an acid and an alcohol, or a phenol. So you see, Ryan, these are physical facts. These are the things that make the universe work. All these other wives' tales you hear, well, they're just a bunch of nonsense. Hey, what do you say we go get some dinner? Hey, Ryan, do you hear some music? Cute. It's a very heartwarming story for me and for our whole family. Because that was actually my nephew. Now, that's 36 years ago, and you would never recognize him because he's in his mid-40s now, right? Yeah. Uh, but at that time, uh, it was a story that uh, Scott Brink, who was the photographer. The editing was great. Yeah. And he, he is an artist on his own. I mean, he really is an, a magnificent artist, aside from video and film. So uh, he, we just came up with this creative idea and ran with it, so it was a lot no, of fun. No, that is actually hilarious. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Does he ever get embarrassed when you take it out to like show people? Yeah, you know, I mean, he's, he's like I said, he's in his mid-40s, so you look, he's like, yeah. Who wants to see themselves when they're like, you know, eight or nine or 10 years old, right? But uh, uh, it, it's been a sort of a family heirloom now for a while, so. Thank you for sharing that sure. with us. It was absolutely adorable. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And the you know, family gets a big kick out of that every time they see it. And Scott Brink actually, is watching out there uh, today. Scott, and, great job, yeah, Scott. Yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Yeah, he thinks you're wonderful, by the way. Oh. But that's a separate thing. <laughs> so anyway, let's.